to my forehead. And I still have the, the hat over me. Look at the shadow. That's wonderful. So, yesterday's video of like a minute running the baler, yeah, you got some interest. So, I'm going to do a longer video, give you a walk around on the tractor, the old 2040. And here's the 24T baler. Better look at it today. And, uh, yeah, I'm running regular old-fashioned twine. I got plenty, plenty ready to go. I won't use nearly that. I've got it greased up. Oh my gosh, there's so many grease cirques on there. You got one there, one there, one there, one there. I mean, there's probably a dozen grease cirques on the top of this with all the knotters. And, uh, but I'm running a really old tire that needs to get replaced, but it's still holding for now. And since I mowed the grass so high, and you can see it didn't do a great job with the hay bind. It's actually, it was actually missing, uh, it was missing one knife or sickle, whatever you call it. Um, I, I was able to, to adjust this a little higher than normal because it's just picking it up off of tall grass rather than right off more of the ground. So anyway, I also yesterday, before I got started, I had to move this back so it could fit this tractor. Uh, the other one must have had, had a longer draw bar or something. But uh, anyway, uh, my, my dad, he, uh, he said, you need thicker windrows. So I did a little more raking today. I needed to anyway to, to dry the bottoms of the windrows. And I combined more of them. So hopefully it'll do a better job picking them up. We'll see. You can see my uh, square bale stack over in the back corner because we bailed last night and I wanted it up off the ground. So there's a pallet under that. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's get going. Whew. It's a warm one today. We're looking at about 90-ish degrees, relatively low humidity. This, by the way, is the one my Motorola is what I usually take videos with. I've got a rip-off GoPro on my head, but uh, on these hills I always make sure when I'm wearing my seatbelt. Uh, oops, I'm in gear. I don't want to be in gear to start. I'll try not to jerk my head around as much. I've noticed my videos are pretty jerky. But, uh, you know, you're whipping your head around and making sure you're doing everything right. So, I think we'll probably run in second gear, maybe third again. And, uh, I mentioned in a different video, the clutch is a two-stage clutch. So, right now I can shift gears with a push down to the first. If I go all the way down, I can put it into... Uh, power takeoff, turn power takeoff on. So if I let back that first stage on the clutch, PTO starts up. And then the second stage gets you going. If I was in gear. Come on. There we go. Beautiful day for it. Real dry. Like 50% humidity or just under. Alright. I can probably go a little faster, but I got real thick up here. Thin windrow again right now, but you can see right here I got two mediums together, so hopefully it's not too much. But I'm going slow. Here we go. Yeah, a little too big. 
Red's pulling it in. Most of it. Ah, it's losing that one. Yeah, I got a big clump right there. I'll drop the bail. doesn't like right hand turns. I broke a bale over there. That's a pretty good windrow right there. thing never wants to go in the park for me well we're on a good spot I shouldn't roll let's see roll a little turn my wheels a little more see if I can get it in there come on yeah I don't want to it ain't going anywhere though ah. let's go take a look at, at the bales I might need to adjust them. I tried yesterday to adjust them and uh, they're still a little loose. See how loose that is. Need to tighten that down. Now the heavier windrows might help with that. And they're about even, the tension on both sides. But I'm gonna do a little more on these. Hopefully tighten those up a little bit. Because right now they're, <clears throat> I mean this is, uh, I'm not a scale, but that's not that heavy. So, but while I'm here, I might as well put these two together. <sighs> I'll take you all the way to the end here. That's going to be a heck of a tight turn there. Might have to back up. tends to happen on these hills. Ah. What I might have to do is take this hay and make a new windrow with it by hand so I can drive across it without without doing this loop on the on the hillside. Let me take one more. I'll take one crack at it. Oh. I got a broken bale. 
see if it'll go in part for me. Come on. Come on. All right, well, so we'll, I'm on this hill. There's much, much, not much I can do about it. For now, you'll see I've got a broken bale here. i got two bales behind me, and I can't get off the tractor because I can't get it in park. That's a load of fun right there. Let me uh, pause you and do some thinking. never stop recording. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I don't know what all you saw me doing, but, uh, whew. I'm going to put you back in my forehead here. There we go. Obviously, I got it in park. Oh. Whoop, that didn't go where I wanted it to. <laughs> I bet this is what did it. Yeah. I was pulling up the hill just fine. Look. My, oh my goodness. See that? My jack. My jack came loose. Ah. That's no good. Oh, the bolt just sheared right off of it. I must have been just right and hit. Oh man. Uh, get that out of there. Well, shocks. I guess.
this. There, I'll just take that out of there. Dang it. But I bet you that's what made me slip. The daggone jack dug into the ground. Uh, yeah. I mean, that would do it. Otherwise, it shouldn't have because the ground's, you know, relatively dry. It's been drying for three days. So, all right, well, we'll try it again. Might be able to get it after all. We'll see. We shall see. I might back up and get a little bit of a running start at it. I don't know. We'll try it. I'll put it in first, too. Oh yeah, climbing right up the hill. Hopefully I don't break any more bales though. At least it'll be putting it in blobs for me. Now I gotta make this tight turn. Woo, tight turn. I'm gonna kick the, turn the PTO off. If I miss a little right here, that's fine. I just need to get turned. That PTO clings around so much when you're turning tight. I'll just ease my way around. Hey, looky there. Woo! Sliding. I won't miss too much. I'll put it in a second now. Sliding down the hill, woo! There we go. Got traction again. The wife's not gonna wanna watch that part of the video, or at least I won't want her watching it. Breaking bales, daggone it. Keep breaking them. I'm not getting any good bales. They're all breaking. They're all breaking on it. Hey, that wouldn't park easy that time. Just doesn't like when there's whoop, when there's tension on it. Let's see if we can figure out the issue. Last year when I tried it, I had a broken spring. Wow, look at all this. It's just chewing the twine up chewing it up all right let's see if we can clear this twine out of here and maybe see what the problem is there's the old the old spring it's still holding so that's not the issue man ah I'm breaking bales I don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Ask the bailer, she says. Hey, give me a scissors, will ya? Try to get all this twine out. Whoops, I'm just, pull <laughs> I'm just pulling from the roll on that one. This one's no good. This one's no good. Uh, so you can see right here, that's where it had knotted. And the knot didn't hold. So 
could be a problem with the knotter or you know I'd, I'd say it's too tight but it's certainly not too tight but I on the other hand I wasn't breaking bales before I tightened that again so I guess I'll try backing off that loose bales is better than broken bales mm, there we go and this is uh, we'll have to make sure it's going through the needles I'll show you those here in just a second I need to cut this off I don't have a knife on me but I'll cut we'll cut this out of here and it can start over. Thank you, honey. <laughs> uh. I think in the how to farm manual, they need to say, well, you need a good wife too. So, and it doesn't hurt to have a handy ish sister either. So, the wife's always here helping me out, and occasionally my sister comes out. A big help. Anyway, hold on, it's all wound around in there. Of course, I'm probably too close for you to see. Feel free to kind of skip and see where I pick up again. couple revolutions of the PTO and that, sh that stuff should get kicked out and it ought to pick up the next uh, piece of twine except for this one like in the knot it'd be nice to see this right here right in there I'd like to get that out if I can oh got a little bit go there got that out there's this piece here again I probably don't need to get it all out but if I can I will it's turning so easy you'd think it would come all right I'll leave it so underneath here is where you've got your needles feeding the twine punching through the, the forming bale and the, the twine's still going through just fine so I shouldn't have to do anything except back out, get back on the tractor and and hope we start making bales so uh, I can come back for this later let's get going Sure, I'm not gunked up over here too bad. No, that's fine. All right, heading this big windrow here now. Oh, seat belt. Still breaking them. Come on, give me a bail. Ah, 
Still breaking it. That's why you use the throttle to slow down, not the brake.